According to Warren Hill, the moment a keratom passes through a cornea, the estimatic characteristics of that cornea are different. Corneal astigmatism is not a simple addition or subtraction of uh, corneal astigmatism. It is a vector quantity. It comprises of magnitude plus direction. So, uh, what you are go going to get in uh, intra-op or uh, post-op astigmatism is the vector summation of pre-op astigmatism and surgical induced astigmatism. Uh, this picture shows some, uh, summing phenomenon of summing vector quantities. If uh, if uh, boat is uh, direct steered directly across the river and there is some current, the landing it will be. Uh, steered downward and landing site will be uh, not at that site of where you have M. So, in the second picture, when you know the uh, current uh, current of river and you have aimed slightly upstream, then the landing site will be on the desired site. It is applied to the same for the surgical induced testing matting. If you know the surgical induced testing matting, you can uh, calculate accordingly your post op astigmatism. Uh, SI is influenced by incision size, incision location, corneal radius, corneal thickness, corneal rigidity, and folded diameter of lens when as it passes through the eye. According to all day, two key determinants of SI is incision length and incision location. So SI is calculated uh, by few, uh, so many methods, vector method, optical decomposition and cylinder, law of sine and cosine, lensometer. I am going to discuss about, uh, so briefly about uh, vector method. Vector method uh, is a, it, uh, it constitutes amplitude and direction. Uh, if uh, K1 and K2 is known with uh, this parallelogram, you can uh, calculate K3. So, using same parallelogram with slight modification, if pre-op astigmatism and post-op astigmatism is known, you can calculate surgical induced astigmatism. Uh, uh, but for to, simpl to simplify this uh, uh, SIA calculation, Dr. Hill has introduced new tool that may help in the surgeons to calculate their own SIA, that is uh, um, www.siacalculator.com. You have to provide pre-op uh, astigmatism and post-op astigmatism. It will give you surgical induced astigmatism and average of surgical induced astigmatism will be calculated and it, they will uh, provide you your surgical induced astigmatism. Uh, according to uh, Hill, uh, Warren Hill, most surgeon requires around 60 cases to determine SIA. Although if uh, incision technique and uh, placement, uh, uh, they are consistent with their incision technique and placement of incision, uh, uh, you can calculate it with the 20 cases also. According to Carisian, uh, it uh, SIA stabilizes by 3 to 6 months. Uh, according to Hill, it uh, uh, stabilizes by four to six weeks. Also, so for minimizing uh, uh, surgical induced astigmatism, you have to choose whether to operate on the steep axis or staying where the surgeon is most comfortable. The thing is to remember that SIA is that it, it is not same for all the eyes. It is easy to calculate the mean value but difficult to anticipate the exact value for individual patients. Now, my second topic is pre-op reference marking. For accurate toric lens alignment along the calculated meridian is crucial to achieve effective astigmatism because uh, with one degree, uh, one degree uh, of rotation, it will cause uh, around 3.5 degree of uh, loss of your correction. So there are several techniques to for uh, this uh, toric IL uh, reference marking. Uh, these are manual toric, uh, toric marking and automated system based on anatomic and topographic landmarks. Commonly used reference marking is slit lamp marking. 
Sitlem, Sitlem marking, vowel marker. In this uh, patient is seated on the straight lamp and the axis is after putting topical anesthesia axis is marked on a 90 degree and 180 degree when the patient uh, lie down from uh, sitting position to uh, supine position there will be cyclotorsion about about uh, 5 degree it may go up to 10 to 15 degree also This is electronic uh, toric marker. It uh, senses sight, uh, sight and hearing also. So it gives you if uh, light, light is green and no beeping sound, it in indicates perfect horizontal axis. If orange light or moderate beeping, it indicates moderate tilt. If red light and fast beeping, it, it indicates uh, gross tilt. This is anterior stromal uh, using Purkinje, first Purkinje image uh, on slit lamp. Uh, with this patient is seated on slit lamp and uh, horizontal slit position as uh, to fall on the center of the first Purkinje image. Uh, and anterior stroma is punctured along the slit with a trial 26 gauge needle. And this is simple and it is actually uh, done in Pont uh, Arvind Aya Hospital Pondicherry, started by Dr. Manas. Now we have adapted this and giving it is giving good results. Uh, now this is ray tracing abrometry. Uh, it uses gel liver caliper tool to calculate the angle difference between the steep meridian and iris or limbal landmarks. And uh, this you have to mark the eye at uh, 0 and 180 degree and let the patient sit on uh, take the uh, this ray tracing ergometer and it will tell you your uh, means your x you are of how much you are of the axis according to that you can calculate uh, uh, using gel liver caliper This is intra-op wavefront abrometry. In uh, this, uh, in pre-operative information is not required. Uh, eye torus uh, after the surgery, you can calculate the uh, ion power on the in the aesthetic uh, calculation, and you can place the toric ion based on that. And if uh, no rotation is required, it will tell you that. Uh, it is on the perfect axis, no, 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 no. it is accurate within 1 degree. Advantage of confirming the metro. This is new technology, uh, Varion. Varion image guided system is captured high resolution image of uh, uh, scale vessel, limbus, and iris structure, and it is transferred to the operating microscope, and there is no need for pre op marking.